Well, people here at home are mourning the Queen's passing all the way across the pond. News 12 Connecticut's Karen Pinto went to local shops to see how they are honoring the Queen. Karen. Roxanne, American flags line Main Street here in New Canaan, but right here outside this grocery and gift shop, you can see there are two British flags. Now, the owner of this store calls today a very difficult day. It didn't come as a, as a total shock, and it came as an incredible shock. Folks are grappling with losing Britain's longest reigning monarch. She was the face of Britain. She was the face of the monarchy. Deb Hecht is the owner of Goldenberry in New Canaan. The store is going on its 32nd year and has Queen Elizabeth influences throughout it. The queen wearing her signature hat and doing her signature wave. And of course, her corgis. She was somebody who kept a continuity that I don't know that anybody else can claim. I mean, she's the only queen I've ever known. I'm Karen Hubrish, who is from England, celebrates the queen's magnificent life on a daily basis at her restaurant. I'm 65. I have not known any other queen, and she has just done an incredible job. It doesn't matter what you think about the monarchy. Uh, she has literally done the job that she set out to do, and she has just served her country and she's an incredible role model. She owns the restaurant Gruel Britannia in Fairfield. I did meet her at some event. I did shake her hand, and I was just um, very impressed. She had this incredible sparkle in her eyes. I mean, there was just something, her face, she just, she just would light up a room. Yeah, wow. quite remarkable. Hubrish calls the Queen's passing the end of an era. My heart, my, my prayers are, are with them. Now, some people we spoke with here who are from England tell me they hope to go back to Britain to pay their respects. In New Canaan tonight, Karen Pinto, News 12 Connecticut.